Hey, what's up guys? So this is vlog number three. Today we are working on that stage one paint correction and ceramic coating job that we booked through Google. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what the paint looks like. The customer did mention a couple issues that he was concerned about with his truck. He kind of nicked it a little bit in a couple areas on the right side. So let's go take a look. see marks right here and swirl marks all around over here here in the back where it was heavily swirled stage that we're doing this on as cool of a surface as possible. In Texas, if it's a lot hotter outside, it can make the panel dry a lot quicker. So this is gonna help beat it up that way we're not fighting with the heat. on the paint that I mentioned earlier that he's kind of concerned about he pointed them out to me specifically so I'm gonna start compounding the paint I'm gonna work from the back on the hottest side where the sun was hitting a little bit more get that out of the way that way when I go to the cool side I don't really have to rush me spreading the product out when you're using a DA polisher you want to do it on setting one you work it out you apply a little bit more, especially with the clean pad and then you move to what I recommend four and a half speed and then I'm gonna start going from left to right and then we're gonna go down and up so that's technically one pass That means that the scratch will still be there, but you would have to see it at a certain angle because it's blending into the clear coat. stage um, but it's almost not noticeable unless you really look at it so it looks a lot better I'm pretty sure it's gonna be satisfied with it so we're gonna switch our cutting pad out for our polishing pad you don't want to use the same pad to use wax or anything else compound pad rip it off switch it to a blue pad um, there's other companies with different kinds of colors and, and things like that don't get too caught as long as it says waxing polishing then you should be okay we're using Mervari's liquid wax. We're gonna apply it generously to the pad. On the wanna do that is because you wanna make sure that the pad not dry to the touch, especially when it's going on the paint. So you're gonna kinda work it in. A little bit, so what I'm gonna do, and my preference, is to just finish the whole panel 
spread it out evenly, this stuff can sit, so you don't really have to worry about it. And it's, uh, it's not sun resistant, but it can be in some heat. So we finished the severe side of the truck. Um, I did end up doing a little bit of sanding just as a courtesy. So I used 3000 grit, but basically there was indentions in the truck from wherever it scraped. And so using that 3000 grit helped me blend it in a little bit better. So when I started cutting it, it basically tried blending in the defects as much as possible. luxury package with ceramic coating. We took about five hours on this one just because of the contaminants that were on the paint. To apply ceramic coating, you have to be sure to take off any excess ceramic off of the paint or else you're gonna have these dark spots. Quality control is really important. So we're about to get on out of here and that's about it. All right guys, see ya.